Hey, let me show you how you can use a shape builder tool to create a new custom shape out of the simple basic shapes. So here I am in Affinity by Canva, Affinity version 3. This tool is also available in version 2 if you are still on the older version. You need to select more than one shape to start with. So I got two shapes here. I got this square and the donut shape, the hole inside. I select both of them in the same time. And then I switch to my shape builder tool from the tool list on the left. With this tool active, you'll be able to highlight certain areas of the selection. So take a look. I'm not highlighting the whole square. I'm only highlighting this area. I'm not highlighting the whole donut, only this area, and I can even highlight this enclosed empty area. So all of those highlightable areas can be merged together or can be cut out. Or we can even create a brand new shape on the top of existing shapes out of them. We got three different modes here, plus, minus, and brand new shape. We can also set up cleanup mode when they delete the parts you didn't use in your initial merge. Let's try the plus mode. I click and drag this line and this will be a brand new shape. Here it is. Of course, you can fill this shape with any color you like. All right. And how about this thing under? As you can see, that's a separate being right now. It's not part of this original square because I did not select that. Let's undo and try this once more, this time with the cleanup on, so you can have a picture. If I do this with the cleanup on, all unused geometry will be clean up. I do the very same thing, bam, this part, this part, this part. As you can see, they delete that part because we did not use that in the shape building process. All right, so this is easy, very easy way of merging two different shapes. So we can also use the minus mode. And thanks to that, you can actually manually decide which part do you want to delete. So I can use the minus mode and I can delete this part. All right, let's move forward. What if the structure is way more complex? So I got multiple circles here. I select all of them and again we can use this tool in the third mode we didn't use before and this will create a brand new shape on the top of the existing one. So this way I can create multiple new shape and then I can fill them with color. Just keep in mind you may have to do some reselections in between those actions. And then I can select those new shapes that are here and fill them with colors without destroying the original circles. So I just used parts of two different circles to make brand new shapes using the third mode over here, create a new shape from selected areas. So that's a third option, plus, minus, and new shapes. So let's test it out one more time. First, you must select all of the shapes you are interested in. Here it is with the basic move tool. Then I switch to the shape builder tool. I'm going to use plus mode and I'm going to add those two, those two. And now I can very quickly modify color. What if there's no shape? I got four separate lines. So take a look. Each line is a separate thing. Can I still use a shape builder tool? Let's take a look. If you select all of them, it will still detect this area that is closed in between them and I can make a new shape here. And there's also a special variation of shape builder tool called this vector bucket tool that we can use that to do just that. Just create brand new shapes out of this enclosed spaces. So this is simply a, a, another version of, of shape builder tool, a bit simpler to use. 
with few extra options at the top. They are grouped together in the tool panel on the left. All right. And the last examples, what, what can be a perfect finishing touch if you're working with the Shape Builder tool? Let's say I'm going to use minus first because I want to get rid of some stuff. Minus, 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 minus. Then I change to plus mode and I will try my best to add all of those elements together just by holding my mouse down. So my mouse is still pressed down. Right, and we end up with one big shape. As the finishing touch, you can sometimes also use the corner tool. So if you want to just slightly modify stuff, so I can head to a corner tool and select those four corners here and I can round them to outside. Take a look, giving some kind of finishing touch to this, this shape we made. All right, so that's how you can very quickly make a brand new shape out of existing shapes. So draw several basic shapes, select them all, and then use a shape builder tool. Again, selection, shape builder, pick the mode, and then you are ready to go. You can start creating new shapes that can be filled with color. So just take a look in your layer panel to kind of see all of your shapes there. Sometimes with multiple shapes, it's really hard to track them on the artboard and it's a bit easier to look here in the layer section. I hope this video was helpful. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.